Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, we're going to show you a Dollar Tree haul, but first we're going to show a few things that I love this sign. It, it looks like whitewashed wood and has a little burlap happy on it. And this angel was gorgeous. Her wings are all feathery. She was in silver and gold. And then I hauled one of these the other day with the heart and I wanted to show you the rest of them. They're a uh, last minute gifts box. And these are key covers. Um, they're in mermaid and... Um, cactus was all they had in my store and I love these cute little signs if it was in my budget I would have bought every single one of them to the moon and back hello with little galvanized tin the little love in pink and the little family in galvanized tin and of course love in string art they had a variety of coffee cups uh, coffee mugs I need zero coffee mugs in my life but I want every single one of them so you can imagine the restraint I was showing <laughs> as you can imagine and then these magnets they're donut magnets they were so cute and then right above them excuse me they were right above some inspirational magnets which I thought were just so gorgeous sorry they went so fast they were really close to the ground <laughs> and they had some really cute notepads um, this time as well this was over by the paper goods and the little Santa Claus plate that with matching cups it's like for coffee and hot cocoa and cookies and then they had Elf on the Shelf journals. And it was sort of like a way to journal what your Elf on the Shelf was doing. But they were sort of like little notebooks and they were cute. And then they had um, different cosmetic bags and keychains and more of those words that I hauled last week. Um, and then I was showing a lady. Here I'm showing a lady all the different varieties that they have. But they have one that says Peace, Love, and Elves. She had to get one for her mother-in-law. And then they had these really cute journals that were personalized with letters on them. As well as these little picture holders that already come in black or colored. And they make cute gifts. And then, oh, unicorn bracelets. How I didn't buy every single one for Miss Luna, I'd never know. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. We went to the... Did we go to the Dollar Tree? Where's that logo? Okay. We went to the Dollar Tree. Oh. Dollar Tree on your bike. Is this twenty dollar tree? This is Allard. <laughs> Rollard. Rollard. You're reading it backwards. <laughs> so we went to the Dollar Tree to get some crafting supplies. Um, like everybody around the holiday season, budget's a little tight right now, so it's not my big haul, but it is enough to get me by for the next two weeks. We also got some things we needed, like we needed light bulbs. These are the. Oh, this one is like completely open. Yeah, it keeps them one pop open. This is these are the Sunbeam LED light bulbs. We love these. These last so long. The only place that we lost one was we actually found out we had a short in the light fixture. And because we used these, had we used incandescent light bulbs and it would have popped out, we just would have kept replacing it with an incandescent light bulb for it to be, keep popping out. Um, so we picked up two of those. If you've never seen these before, they are LED energy. Here, I'll hold it up while I read the other one. <laughs> LED energy saving bulbs last 22.8 years, approximately 60 watts, but they only use 9 watts of power. Um, they have 800 lumens. So they are pretty bright. We like them, right? What's a lumen? And they, <laughs> they're energy efficient like um, compact fluorescence, but they light right away, unlike compact fluorescence. So sometimes you have to wait for that light to kick in. So we got two of those. I need more popsicle sticks. Is anybody here surprised that I've been using them like crazy? Um, I picked up two, one of the popsicle sticks, which has 100 in them, which makes them one penny a piece if you can do your math. And I picked up two of the tongue depressor size, which they call craft sticks as well. And you get 60 per package in here. Because I do have at least one more, at least one more project using the craft sticks, the popsicle, the tongue depressor size. Um, we need a glitter for another DIY. Whoops, where did the, the other one in here somewhere? Mm. Okay, I might be in two different bags. But I got two packages. We picked up the, this is the white, white iridescent silver, uh, I feel like gold, bronze, and black. No, yeah, something like that. That's about like what they look like. Let's see, can you, we tap on that so you guys can see that a little better. There you go. Can you see that a little better? Not really, thanks. And all I did was make me and Jimmy disappear. Yay. Oh, be nice. You're handsome. Isn't Jim handsome, everybody? I'm not trying to, like, 
you know, I'm not trying to be all like braggy or whatever, but I think he mm. grew up. I think he grew up very insecure, so he doesn't realize how handsome he is. Um, we picked up these stencil letters because I realized a lot of things that I teach you guys. I always tell you you can get stencils and you could, but I never actually got them to show them to you. So these are the ones that are uh, two inch alphabet stencil the actual size but these are the ones that sort of have like the hand i feel like this is like pencil lines but i don't know why um i got smaller ones you do have some from I, uh from the metal stencils from, from drafting no no, no. i, I mean plastic a, yeah plastic sheet from drafting yeah, yeah. yeah that's good i don't i didn't need it well i kind of did we have a we have a santa hat that's like a th i'm not kidding i think i think my mom bought it in 76 so I picked up another one because how cute is this? And it had, oh, I forgot to get the fur chamois thingies. No, I looked, they didn't have any. Never mind, I did that. Um, it has a cute fur um, collar. It's like a faux fur um, and a pom pom. And look how pretty. And it's like a velveteen with these beautiful silver glittery snowflakes all over it. I thought that was so pretty. I'm sorry, I just did. I picked up two tree skirts for DIY, but listen guys, this is a lot of felt. It's decorated on the bottom, but the back, as you can see, it's it's not actual felt felt. It's like a felt material. So it's like a nylon y whatever. But hey, you're gonna do a DIY with it. We're gonna use this. And um, the tree skirt can also be a table round if you put a centerpiece in the middle. Uh -huh. I was trying to see if it said how big it was. Oh yeah, 41 inches round. So that's a pretty big size for a buck, if you ask me. And they, I picked up the white one. The white one only came with the poinsettias on it at my store, but the red one had either star, either this or reindeer running across. Snowflakes. Couldn't think of the word snowflakes there for a second. Sorry, everybody. Okay, that's this for this bag. Um, so after we're done hauling this we're going to go make an early dinner and do a live stream tonight but if you're watching this tomorrow if you're watching this on monday then you will have missed the live stream but i wanted to let you guys know that there's a community page on my channel so if you click on my little face my little round circle my face it'll bring you to my channel page and if there's a there's headings that say video um, playlist about or well, home video playlist community and then about and if you scroll through all those tabs they'll give you different um, links to my playlists um, and then on the community page is always if I have a poll or if I'm giving you guys a notice or shout out or whatever or if we're gonna do a live stream that's where you'll find that notification can I have that now Jim's tired it's very gloomy today so I can imagine I'm kind of tired too so I picked up some socks um i'm gonna make garden gnomes uh, not garden gnomes i'm gonna make winter gnomes but i'm not gonna make them on my channel uh, unless you guys really protest they are really cute and there's a lot of videos on them but when i get together with the girls lisa said she wanted to make some gnomes so i picked up some socks i picked up one pack of i should have picked up two <sighs> dang it of the diabetes crew socks so they're in white Jim wanted them for his, he wears them to work, and he got them in black because his uniforms. And then I picked up a little pair of like gray with white heels of the fuzzy socks, and these cute little black marbly ones of the fuzzy socks. And if you haven't seen these anymore, just type in sock gnome into the YouTube search bar, and you can see a skazillion. Actually, Pam from Pam's Life. Hi, Pam! Um, actually has the first one I've ever seen <laughs> so I will uh, link her video in the description box down below so you guys can just check her out you won't have to search for her. Um, I picked up these for a DIY I hope I can do this DIY soon I just need one more item now these are the emergency lights and what I like about these for DIYs is you can glue the base onto whatever you're doing and then you can pull the, the candle on and out in and out easily to turn it on and off and to replace the batteries so it has the most secure, and they're the size of the inspiration piece. The inspiration piece had just like, like candles that big. 
I finally found these markers. I thought I had these in my house. I'm sure we have these in the house somewhere, Jimmy, and we just couldn't find them. Mm. But these are the touch-up markers. Um, so I always talk to you guys about, like with a popsicle stick art, you can stain them with these. This is what I'm talking about. They're in the hardware section, and they come in two sets. This is basically light to medium. The other one's like medium to super dark. Um, and they are touch-up markers. So if you scratch your wood furniture, you draw this. I always start with the lightest one because you never know how dark it's going to be. So what you do is you fill in the crack with this and then you wipe it off your finish real quick and it colors in um, the crack so you don't notice the scratches as much. I picked up this set of ornaments for a DIY. Um, I wanted these specifically because they're the medium, well they're the largest in the multi-pack and they're smooth. Um, they, they don't have the ridges on them. So that's why I got those. Here's the other glitter. And I picked up these to show you guys a little hack, um, a really fancy hack. So these are the sheets of parchment paper. Um, you get 15 inches by 12 inches. And what we're gonna do is, I'll tell you about them later. I'm gonna actually show you the DIY. <laughs> but it's for a baking DIY. Um, I never actually told you these, I'm sorry. What I ended up picking up was, what was smooth was gold with little snowflakes on them. It's okay that they have glittery snowflakes on them. They're just not rigid. Ridged. Ridged, I guess is the word. Ridged means hard. Ridged. Yeah. Um, and these are five for a dollar. Okay, that's that bag. And then the last bag. You know, it's really funny. I don't think I got everything that I need to finish. Anything. <laughs> like, I have some stuff to do other stuff. but Oh, and I did have to go down that last aisle for pillowcases and I forgot. Oh. Okay. I picked up two more of these because I actually never showed you this DIY. We used, ended up using them for the tree. Um, but these are garland wire, wired garland ties and they're basically um, branches. That's what the best way to describe them is they are branches. If a branch married a pipe cleaner, that's what it would look like. So I got two packs of those. They're 12 in each pack. This I just loved. This was actually hanging even though it's from um, Main Street Wall Art, it wasn't hanging with the wall art. It was hanging with the electronics in my mm. store. So look around everywhere. I'm telling you, these was hanging. This was hanging between the phone cases and the tap, the night lights. Mm. And it is a beautiful 3D plastic that says love, and it's got all these little peg hooks on the bottom that you can hang like jewelry on. I'm guessing, and I just thought that was so cute. I am to I mean, pink is cute, but I totally wanted to spray paint this black or ivory. I'm thinking ivory for the guest room would be cute, but I'm going to probably do jazz that up. It won't be a video. I'm just going to jazz it up for my house. And I found two bath bombs for Christmas. Um, it's going to go in someone's Christmas stocking. I know somebody who takes baths a lot or often and I thought these bath bombs I've heard really good things about them so um, this they just have rubbery snots on them hold on to throw that in the garbage um, because they're in the package I ended up getting very relaxing scents as far as I was concerned I picked up the um, lavender and wild nectar and this one is peppermint and vanilla and I believe they're by Bolero Yep, and um, they're just so cute. The bad part about only getting paid once a month is that, you, you know, you can only go to the Dollar Tree so often, and then you miss lots of stuff, so I'm sorry about that. Um, and then this I found for 50 cents, because it was only one, the other one was missing, and I was like, that's really cute, and I can do something with it. Um, but it's like a little wiry tree with a bell hanging from it, and it's hanging from a star. Um, so this one is missing. So I said to Jimmy, he's like, you know that's only one on there? And I was like, yeah, that's why it's only 50 cents. But for 50 cents, I get an extra hanger and an extra star. I said that was really cute. And the last thing then is, I found these by the register. We were looking for berries, you know, white berries though. And they didn't have any. But I found these. And I just fell in love. Now they say berries, they kind of are cranberry sized, even though they just look like holly berries. They're, they, I feel like they look like cranberries because holly berries would have holly leaves. Um, and these just say berries. And I feel like they, they're cranberries. And you guys, have you been around for a while? You know I have strong wooden cranberry beads for my tree that I've had for quite a while. And I just thought that these would be a lovely touch to some floral arrangement. I got two. 
And these are the really long, watch, watch your face. These are the really long ones, as you can see. Okay? That's everything. Thank you, honey. Honey tired. Can you tell? He's not his gym normal self. He was his gym normal self before I started hitting record. Actually, was I recording while you goofing it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're right. No. No, oh, I'm sorry. Do you need to go take a nap? I don't know what I need. Oh. Well, that's it, everybody. We need sunshine here. That's what we need. Look, you're not even on the thing. Mm. You've disappeared. Mm-hmm. You stopped leaning in. It's hurting. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm, it's my back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Want to lean in and say goodbye? Uh, Aw. Mm. Where are you? <laughs> there he is, everybody. That's my Jim. Mm. Oh, no, Jim. <laughs> So, oh, now I'm really blown out. Ooh, it's bright. Oh, yeah, that's what. Duh. No, no, you're too dark. I'm going to sleep. Hang on. <laughs> so that's it, everybody. Give this video a thumbs up, please. It really would help. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share with friends and family. Anybody you know might be interested in seeing what we got and getting ready for some DOIs. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. And when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. Yes, somebody please ring our bell. How oh, really? <laughs> Is the bell there or is the bell there? Is the, is the subscribe button there or a subscribe button there? Mm -hmm. It's there. The script subscribe button is down here. And once you ring it, a little bell will pop up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. So if you're going to join us for live tonight, we'll see you then, which would be last night. And uh, as I'll always, be awake. you better. It was your idea. I know. As always, take care. God bless. See you next time. Bye. Bye. It is a lot closer than when I tie it on the mirror, though. I know, but it's okay. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what if I... Oof. Clip it. On the mirror. It's just very low. What if I clip it on the top of the mirror? No, go ahead. What if I clip it on the side of the mirror? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what's the best place to put it. What are you what are you complaining about? I'm not asking you to do anything. Jeepers. That's good. You just have to lean in still. <laughs> uh. Not that much. <laughs> How about if you put up the armrest and scoot your booty tiny bit and you can sit up straight, but you'll just be over here. Try that. You're home now, so the king of all. Blah. Blah. There we go. How's that? Fine until my back starts to hurt. Well, I don't want you to have to lean. That's why I said scoot your booty up so you can sit up straight. Oh, God. I have your seatbelt so you won't sit on your seatbelt. That's not the seatbelt, dang it. I know. I know, but it's just... My whole body doesn't want to move. Okay. <laughs> That's much better. That's much better. No, it's not. No? Can no. you see me? Can you see yourself? Don't break your phone. You're very handsome. Stop making fun of my husband. I think he's very handsome. Don't break your phone. Oh. I can see cracks in the phone. God forbid I <laughs> cracks my phone. Hey, big. Smile for the thumbnail. I've got my bag, and she's got her bag. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, I don't know what you're complaining about. I only had one cup of coffee so far. My butt is like dragging. Dragon butt. Dragon butt. I don't know what it's been smelling like a dragon lately. How <laughs> oh, rude.